All right, so let's take a look at this number, which if you take a look at, if you want to pause the screen now so you can kind of try to do the problem yourself first. But I'll start in three, two, one. Okay, so we know that we need to track the values that are contained in an array called nums. So we've got a list. They're doing a whole bunch of remove operations here. So why don't we go ahead and just kind of take a snapshot of the information here and just kind of keep track of them. So 0, 0, 4, 2, 5, 0, 3, 0. Okay, so it looks like this is just a regular traversal for the most part, right? Uh, incrementing by one each time and then it says here let's figure out what happens within our for loop it looks like if we ever find an element that is a zero we are going to remove that element okay so let's go ahead and get started the first thing we know is that the first element is a zero so we are going to have a remove keep in mind though that k has a value starting at zero Unfortunately, k will always be incrementing, regardless of whether or not you've removed anything within the list. So keep that in mind. So we're going to remove that element. Um, but what happens, though, is your list here, you've got a repositioning so that all the indices will shift one so four is now at one two is now at two etc etc so after that iteration right so after one iteration we're gonna go back up and increment k k is not equal to one so we are gonna end up actually skipping this first zero because again of the fact that k is going to increment regardless so if we take a look at this we're going to go ahead and just say we're going to eliminate that one because it doesn't have a zero okay next one um, we know that we can't have two zeros so we have to eliminate that one and go ahead and eliminate that one as well and so at this point in time after that one remove we cannot have two zeros at the beginning there. And so that kind of eliminates that one and that one, which means that we have to decide whether or not this is going to throw an out-of-bound exception. If we take a look at this, there's never a case where that might happen. Um, so this is because they're always using nums that size. As nums that size is resizing, this condition check will be represented by the new change in the size. Um, and so we don't have any of those either, which means that we can now just say that D is our answer.